television, we learn through stories. And in fact, even with books and the internet, we still learn best with stories. Why? Why? That's right, number one is stories are naturally emotional. Right? They're funny or scary, something, or there's love or some fighting or something. There's naturally some emotion in a story. And we remember emotional things more easily. For example, I can teach you a vocabulary word, a new English word. A new word. Yeah, I can teach you a new word. One way you can learn is see the word, learn the meaning, and memorize. This is not a great method. Because it goes to your short term memory. And one week, two weeks, three weeks later, you will probably forget. This is how I graduated from university. Sorry, I just dropped this. <laughs> this is how. Maybe you do this. Will you have a test tomorrow? You study, 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 study the day before. And you get an A, a good grade. And one week later, you forget most of it. Whoosh. It's gone. <laughs> If you learn the same new word in a story, an emotional story, you will probably remember it longer. Your brain will make more connections about that word. You will remember the word, you will remember the situation in the, in the story. And you will remember the emotion in the story. And because of this, you will remember longer, more deeply. It's a better way to learn words, it's a better way to learn grammar. So that's why we use stories, and that's why today. In fact, soon we are going to do a lesson, and part of that lesson will be a story. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. stand up again. It's the dancing woman. So anytime we see the dancing woman, we have, we're going to do some dancing and wake up, okay? Okay. And let me, let me ask one more thing. Tomoe. Tomoe. Ichikawa. How's the sound, yes or no? Okay. All right, let's get some music.
Good job, good job. Okay then. I think it's time. Hey, it works. Okay. Time to learn. Are you ready? All right. Time for our lesson. Please open your grammar book to page 10. <laughs> Please open your book to page 10. No? No? Come on. All right, we'll try, let's try something different. We'll start with some words, some phrases. We have a lot of people here today. So I don't know your English level, I don't know. Maybe this is easy for you, maybe this is difficult, I don't know. But we'll just try. So we're going to learn these words and after that, no more Vietnamese translation. Okay? You ready? All right. Now this is how we learn new words with effortless English. Our first word is evil. Evil. Who who does not know evil? Ai mà nó không biết cái evil nghĩa gì? Nghĩa là gì giơ tay? Okay, good. No, that's good. All right, good, good. It's new. Okay, you can see the meaning. Very, very bad. Very, very mean, cruel, terrible, bad. Okay, so we will learn this with an action. Because you will remember better. Here's our action. So imagine, imagine a devil. Devil. Everybody. Okay. So now I say evil. 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 What's that? I think we're okay, right? Okay. okay. Thank you to Robert here. Okay. Come on, come on, Thank you, Robert. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. High five. All right. Just English now. Uh oh. All right. Ready? Yes. You ready? Yes. Next phrase. You suck. You suck. This is not polite English. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, um, never mind. Okay. You suck. This is. <laughs> oh no. So it means you're bad, you're terrible, you're stupid, you're horrible, you are very, very, very bad. You suck. You suck. Okay, don't, don't say this at your job, <laughs> okay? But maybe with your friend you can say this. You suck. <laughs> All right, so this is our action. You suck. Yeah, you're bad, you're terrible. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. Oh man, I feel bad. You suck. You suck. You suck. 
Ivo! 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 Bad, 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 like a devil. Ivo! Ivo! You suck! You suck! You suck! Great. Good job. Our next phrase, also casual, not, not, not formal. <laughs> Get, lost. Get lost. Get lost means go away, leave now. Okay. So here's our action. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Evil. You suck. You suck. Uh huh. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Evil. Evil. You suck. Good job. Very nice. Our next word: depressed. 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 Okay, depressed. Very, very, very sad. Sad ten. Okay. Depressed. Uh -huh. Depressed. 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 Evil. Depressed. 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 Again, depressed. Show me. Depressed. Get lost. Get lost. You suck. You suck. Suck. You suck. Good job. Very good. Okay. Two more. Two more. Two more. To beat. To beat. Um, different. It has different meanings. In this story, to beat means to hit. To beat. To beat. To beat. To beat. To beat. To beat. To, beat. to beat, to beat, to beat, right? It means to hit, to hit someone, to hit, to beat, to beat, get lost, evil, mm. get lost, you suck. <laughs> I like saying that. It's fun. You suck. Okay. <laughs> oh, we skipped yell that. Okay. We skipped yell that. Yell, I think you, most of you probably know this. So yell means to shout, to scream, right? If you yell at someone, you shout at them. Ah. This is easy. To yell! Yeah. To yell! Yeah. Yelled at! Yeah. Yelled at! Yelled at. Yelled at. Get lost. Get lost. Evil. Evil. You suck. You suck. You suck. Depressed. Depressed. Yelled at. Yeah. Yelled at. Yeah. Yelled at. Yeah. Good job. Last one, last one, last one. The last